Um, we were talking to uh, Dante, I guess it was yesterday, he said that you basically, he singled you out as somebody who's really helped him. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about your relationship with him, how you've gone about that, and also the growth you've seen in him? Uh, Dante has been great, you know, he's a very outgoing kid, I think I mentioned that before in one of these, but it's easy to have a good relationship with him, you know, he, he wants to learn, he wants to improve, and me being like the older guy, you know, just kind of teaching him little things, you know, things I notice, maybe he can correct, I'll, I'll tell him, you know. So just, just, just his ability to want to learn and me wanting to teach. I think that's why our relationship has been so good. What's it when you're snapping the ball? You're gonna snap the three quarterbacks on Saturday. Is there a different cadence or anything different when you snap to a different quarterback, or is it the exact same thing? It's the exact same thing. Like we get enough reps in practice with uh, all three quarterbacks. Kind of, I kind of know like the different voices and the way it feels under center and things like that. So if I know who's who I'm rolling with, then I think we'll be in good shape. Dante was also kind of observant of your friendship with Josh Carlin. Yeah. So what's your relationship with him like? Um, it's been me and Josh since the beginning, really. Uh, we both got here, played offensive line as freshmen. So he's really been the guy that's been in the room with me for going on my fifth year now. And he's kind of understood the process and what it takes to kind of um, be successful, I guess, at uh, college football. So it's just been good to talk to him like on our intellectual level as well, just like going over plays, uh, things about life, you know, college, like we kind of came up together. So that was, that's kind of been my buddy and my guy that I can talk to and things like that about anything. Dante also said that you kind of pulled him aside and said, like, I got you. Is that a kind of conversation that you have with like all of the quarterbacks? Like what's the yeah. different connections you have? I'd say uh, with all the quarterbacks, I have a pretty good connection, but Dante being a young guy, you know, I've, I've been there. So I kind of know what's going on and him being Dante Moore, it's kind of, you know, we gotta hone down on him a little bit more, you know, just play football, stick to the process. And just knowing that I, just him knowing that I have trust in him is kind of, it's huge, you know, especially on a team, you gotta believe in your, in your brothers. And just, I like to preach that I believe in him. Yeah. This, this quarterback competition is getting all the attention, mm -hmm. but we know there are three open spots in the offensive line. Uh, yeah. How's that competition gone? How are you feeling? Comfort-wise, with the five guys you're gonna roll out there on Saturday, I think Coach Drive has been doing a good job, like rotating guys in. Um, I'd say we have a good, solid eight, nine guys that can really play on this team, and I don't think we'll skip a beat with any if any different mix and match of that rotation goes on. Um, everyone's ready, and everyone knows kind of. Everyone wants to be that gets that starting job. You know what I mean? So whoever it is, they'll be ready for it, and I'm I'm not worried at all about where starting five is gonna be. You've been here as long as anybody. Um, I know you, Coach kind of has a different relationship with the players than obviously he does with the media. With us, he's been, uh, I guess a good way to put it is a little more chipper uh -huh. this, uh, this, this fall camp. Yeah. Is, has he seen any different to you? Does he seem maybe a little more lighthearted or same guys always? Um, definitely the same guys always, but I definitely know there's maybe a little bit more uh, joking around going on, you know, a little comfort, more comfortable, I guess, with especially me being here for as long as I have. I yeah. can definitely see his personality come out when he has conversations with me or any of the older guys on the team. So it's been nice to see that on uh, that side of chip. Yeah. Do you think maybe that's a reflection of he thinks, you know, you guys are in a good place as a team and, and you're ready to roll? I think so. I think he can really trust us, trust mm -hmm. the leaders on this team to get the job done. So I think we kind of took taking that aspect out of his hands, I guess. Um, it's more player led than coach fed, as uh, we like to say. So yeah, definitely, definitely comes with more trust from his players. We just talked to Carson, who's like, you know, super excited, also mm -hmm. kind of nervous. Is there anything you say or do around kind of newer players to help them like, stay level-headed ahead of the first game? Um, if I notice something, then yeah, I'll probably step in and do something. But Carson, he's been rock solid throughout this whole camp. Uh, he's been playing like, I mean, you know, like what he is. Like He's a great player, great running back. And I'm not too worried about how he's going to do this year and this season. So for him, yeah, he's just a rock solid dude. And I think he's going to have a great season for us this year. Can you still oh. How can you tell if someone's nervous? Like, what do you notice about players that kind of sets um, it off? Just like, it's not like really flowing for them, I guess. You could say like, they're kind of still, uh, we like to say analysis by paralysis. Like when you try to overthink things, you can kind of notice them kind of playing slow. And the biggest thing like Coach Kelly always preaches is that um, if you know your playbook, then you play faster, right? If you know exactly where you're going, you don't need to be thinking about, oh, do I have this guy? Do I have this guy? So. Just that, just no, under, it's just seeing the guys that uh, put in the time and the, and the work for the playbook and running the plays that you can tell, like, oh, yeah, they're ready for it because how fast they play.
do you still get nervous before games? Ever? Oh yeah, of course, definitely get nervous. Especially actually, it's probably harder now being because I, I feel like there's more eyes on the team looking at me, and so I gotta kind of be the example on how to do things and how to prepare for a game. So, but it's been a fun role to play this year. How do you respond to that? Do you do more routine based stuff before games to kind yeah. of just get in a um, comfort zone? It's more just yeah, it's a routine. Just making sure I hit all my steps. Like can't skip anything. Cause you never know who's watching, you know. Like, like we had a lift today in the weight room. You know, you, you never want to take any reps off. You know what I mean, it's always give everything you got, do what the coaches say, and that just just lead by example. I think it's fair to say you guys are a little bit under the radar. You know, not not nationally ranked. Everybody's mm-hmm. talking about SC and the returning Heisman quarterback. I feel like maybe you guys are, are going to open some eyes on Saturday. Perceptions uh, about this team. I definitely think so. Uh, we're a really good team this year, but we don't really pay too much focus into that. I guess like if they want to talk and not really uh, recognize how good we are, then let them. We'll, we'll just show it on Saturday. Um, a little while back, you know, UCLA announced that fundraiser for Maui relief efforts. Mm-hmm. Um, did the players have any say in, you know, some of the organizations? Obviously, you know, you're from the area. Yeah. Um, we just did a little video to kind of like spread the awareness, I guess. And I've seen all those links to all the different uh, funds and stuff like that. And I, I trust every single one of them. So those are good to donate to for sure. What's been just the general vibe at practice this week? It's excitement, really. Uh, just ready to hit somebody else other than your teammate, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we got J- is that JJ Molson there that we're looking at? Yeah, it's JJ. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank, Thank you. you.